All right, now we will talk about how to download and upload the software from the real PLC. So let's take a small example. Let's say the situation is we need to actuate an output with an input. It's very simple. The first lesson is actuate an output with an input. Output 0 with input 0. Let's say that. So once you create the new project, I reset the program. You will see Micro 850 after selecting the hardware, which you have to do. You have seen in the last video. Now I will create add a letter diagram in this case. So once the letter diagram is here, it says program 1. What I can also do is I can right click and I can rename that and I will call it main. So once it's main, I will go inside. So inside I have this window. Now I will take one input here and one output here. So in this case, I have to open my toolbox. I can keep it open all the time. And now I take direct contact. It will ask me for the variables. So in this case, I will directly select my physical input. So I can do that in IO Micro 850. And my input is I -M -I -Zero -E -M -D -I. Okay, don't, don't mistake with DO because it's in the beginning. <laughs> Take DI00 and click on OK. This is my first digital input. And now I need an output. So direct call in this case. Connect to this plus sign. And here you can take your, again, IO Micro 850, DO00. Click OK. So your first input is connected to your first output. This is done. Now we want the software to check if there is any problem in that. This you can do that by clicking on Verify or Build. If you do Build, it will verify automatically. So I do Build. So this is going to check if everything is OK. Here you can see all the instructions, what is happening, and it says, all the way from here some report and it says its build succeeded if it has any error you will see the error here but in the error list there is nothing so there is no error everything is fine we go back to our main pou and now this is working now next step is to download to the plc in this case because we already built we click on download and once you click on download it will look for the plcs in your network so in my network you will see here micro 850 and if I open this one, I have two controllers. One is my simulation and one is my real PLC. So the real PLC is 67. And you can see that simulation is showing, showing cross because my simulation is not turned on. So this will also tell you what is present on the network or not. So select your PLC in case if you have a real PLC and click on OK. And then it is trying to connect to the PLC. And notice here, I already have my Ethernet cable connected. Okay, that's what that should be connected. So coming back here, it will ask you the project in the controller will be overwritten with the current project. That's okay. We want that controller will be switched to program mode to perform the action. So when the controller is uh, getting the program from the PC, when the PC is downloading it, controller will go back to program mode. Okay, this sometime maybe you don't want that because we are using the free version of the software. I have no other way to download the program if I want to keep my PLC in run mode. This is possible. In the, in the software, if you buy the software, you can still do that. There's a feature, just like in Siemens. But here, because I'm using a free version, my program will go back to program mode, my PLC. So I have to agree with that. So I will click download. So now you will see my PLC is not in run mode anymore. Going back to the software. So it's downloading, you can see on the bottom, download succeeded. And another pop-up, it says download complete. Do you want to change the controller to run mode? I will say yes. And now it will be in the run mode. And if you notice, it says run is true and my input zero is true. And because of that, my output zero is true. And let's, let's turn it off because this was part of my logic. If my input zero is true, my output zero is also true. Coming back here, if you see here, my input zero is, now if you see here, it's false because it's blue. So if I make it true from my PLC trainer again, so I make it true. So in my software, I can also see it's red. So once it's red, red in this PLC means it's true. Don't get confused, red means stop, which normally it is. <laughs> but here when it's red, it means it's energized. It has some power, okay? So this means, our logic is working fine based on what we see in the PLC output. 
super easy, nothing, just one input and one output. Just wanted to show you how you can download the logic in your PLC. Now, how to upload the logic from the PLC now. So let's say I disconnect and I delete this. So let's say I don't know what is in the PLC. I need to take it out from the PLC. So you can see that here it's blank, but PLC has a code inside. What I can do is I can click on upload. In this case, it will request the PLC. Hey, I want the software from you. PLC say, okay, you can take it. So I will click on upload. And now it is going to upload and you can see the status on the bottom. So once it's uploaded, you will see your main program having the logic. So that's how you take the logic out of the PLC. Okay, very easy. And now because I'm connected and it's red because the PLC is online and the input is true. If I make it false, I go back to my software, I can see this is false. All right, so this was about how to download and upload the software using a real PLC. In the next video, we will see how we can do that with a simulator. For those who don't have a PLC, and with the next lesson, they can continue all the exercises and practice their logic. All right, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.